We should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. Why are we sending those ravens back to Niflheim? prefer to face forward rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with Viscera. Oh. And there was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. It's a fair few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Oh, my God. 
Refuse to pick a favorite poem. That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? Well, that's not just dirt. It's not dirt. Yeah, but...
Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half, Gufa! I need new socks. What has happened? They're wet. They will dry. You know, I just knew you were gonna say that. Then why did you ask? I'm really not sure. They will dry. Yeah, I'm sure they will.
sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. <gasps> Mimir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphon. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkmore. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers? Yes. Like your mothers. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? <gasps> what difference did her lie really make? Enough. We will continue later. I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. 
I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of Heathwitches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the fame took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive proxy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs>